Hi guys, it's Natalie here. I'm here today to film my monthly favourites for March. I actually have done a lot of purchasing this last month, mostly because I was overseas for... I went to America for a 40th birthday party, so I was there for like four days and in that time I managed to come across a Mac and a Sephora and so I'll put a link to that whole video if you want to go and check out what else I managed to pick up while I was there um, down below so go ahead and check that out. I have got a lot of things here because I have sort of bought a few things earlier on in the month as well. I've just been loving everything I bought this last month so um, I'm just going to get into it. There's quite a few things. So to start with face products first, I've got my Sleek contour, Face Contour Kit and this is in the shade Medium. I am loving this. This is seriously the best contour duo or like a compact I have ever had. The um, bronze shade is nice enough to be sort of not... It's matte, but it's also, it's got the right tone for my skin tone to a contour, which I find really, really hard. And this shimmery shade, it's not overly shimmery. I mean, it gives your sort of skin a nice glow, but not looking too glittery or, glittery or anything. And that's what I really, really like about it. It's contours and highlights, but it does it subtly enough that you can wear it for every day. So I have been loving that. I seriously have used it every single day. Um, took it overseas with me. I would, I, yeah, this has not left my hand at all. Love it. It is the best. If you haven't got this, check it out. It is awesome. I've got two blushes here and now that I'm kind of looking at them, they're incredibly similar but they're slightly different. Um, so this one here is the Prom Princess blush from MAC and this was in the um, Veronica collection from the Archie Girls. This is limited edition so I really didn't want to put this in my favourites because I know you, I mean it's still available in Australia now but once it's gone I'm not sure when I'll be getting it back. But this is awesome I love it I have been using it so often um, I'm just going to put up my hand there it is fairly dark but it's perfect for darker skin tone it's also like fairly sheer as well so you do sort of need to build it up to get that coverage so you can wear it for um, with lights lighter skin tones and I love it I'm just loving the deep pinks on my cheeks at the moment it's amazing Speaking of deep pinks, <laughs> this is another blush that I've picked up. This is from a new company, Australian makeup artist Erin Biggs has, or Erin Biggs, sorry, has started her own makeup range and I saw it on Instagram, Facebook, and ever since I was there watching the build up to it and as she was sort of getting all her products in production, and then when the launch came, I did pick up this in a few other um, quads. I am going to be doing a haul video on all the makeup I bought and show you all the eyeshadow quads but I have misplaced one and it's driving me crazy because it's my favourite one and I can't find it at all. So I'm sort of going to hold off on that one until I find it. But this is the Baked Blush in Tulip. It is similar to the other one but this is a bit more of like a pink. So that was the first one, um, the Veronica one. This is the one in Tulip. It actually looks really quite similar. But it's not. I'm telling you now, it's not. Um, this one is really quite highly pigmented as well, so you need to be extra careful with this one if you have pale skin. But it is a gorgeous, beautiful blush, and I've pretty much been using these ones on and off, so it kind of looks the same. It is different. I swear it's different. You might not be able to see it in the camera, but it is. Um, so I've been using that. And the next thing on my cheeks that I have been using is the um, Stila Con Color Convertible Dual Look and Cheek Cream. And this is in the color Peony. And that is the shade there. I'm actually wearing that on my cheeks today. I have wanted to get into cream blushes for a long time. I just, I don't know, I just haven't done it. And I've been watching Ash from Oz Product Junkie for like ages and all of her favourites, she mentions cream blushes. And I always comment in there that I want, I'm going to try, I promise I'm going to get cream blushes sometime soon. And I finally have, and I love it. I've got another one of these as well that I picked up from America. But this is a gorgeous, it's just a really like natural colour, neutral colour that I can wear. It just gives my cheeks a little bit of a glow without being too much. And it's, because it is a cream blush, my skin is left feeling like really dewy and glowy and I love it. I am converted to cream blushes finally and I'm just so happy I picked this one up. So um, you can get these from Mecca Cosmetica I think for like 40 something dollars or you can get it um, from Beauty Bay for like 28-ish. Um, I'll put a link to where you can get it anyway if you did want to go and have a look at these ones. The concealer I have been using this month has been my MAC Studio Finish Concealer and this is NW30. I'm loving this. Um, again, this is a product that I've wanted to get for so long but I just haven't done it and I can't work out why it's taking me so long but I've pretty much been using it every single day as you may be able to tell. I'm sort of wearing through it quite a bit. Um, we'll have to go and get one of these again really, really soon but um, 
I love it. it. It does an amazing job for covering up dark circles and it just really brightens up my face. So I'm loving that. Um, I've been using my MAC paint pot and this is the one I picked up in America, it's soft ochre. I've been using this one because I find painterly, it's like, it is a flesh tone but it's a bit more of the cool tones which suits um, like lighter skin people much better than me because my skin is fairly like, it's got the warm colourings to it. I find that this one actually just looks more natural on my eyes and um, like as a base and everything. So I've been loving that. This up in America is the Urban Decay Naked Basics palette. I am loving this. I've pretty much worn this two or three times a week, like just this. Um, I wasn't too sure when I first got it because it seems like you've got three fairly light shades and then just these two middle ones and then the dark one. Because my skin tone is fairly dark, these ones to me are all just blend highlighting um, highlighters. So it's a bit, I don't know, I think it's a little bit, too, this is a little bit too light to sort of put all over my lid. I prefer like if I wanted to go and natural look I'd rather have one that's more of my skin tone which is like max soft brown or something but I find I have actually been using this one a lot more than I thought I would have and it's really great it's a small convenient um, palette just to take me on shore about it but no I picked it up and I have been loving it and it's just been like a staple for my makeup all for the last month anyway. Two, before I went to America I actually got these obsessive compulsive cosmetics loose color concentrates I have done a haul video and I put that link to that haul video below to show you the colors that I got but the two colors that I have been been using all the time and I love this. I've actually done a tutorial with this one. I'm probably going to be posting it in the next few days. This colour here is called Brass Stacks and it is a gorgeous, it's just like a really nice sort of shimmery bronze colour. I know a lot of people don't like pigments because they find them to be messy, they fall out a lot. Look at that, that is just, I think pigmentation that is amazing. It's shimmery, it is I love this colour, like, I'm addicted to this colour. Like I was saying, a lot of people don't like pigments because they fall, tend to fall out a lot, they're messy, people can drop them, they're sort of really annoying, like the powdery, they go everywhere, all kinds of stuff. And um, I'm not one of those people, personally, I love pigments, I find that they really, the colour color range in pigments is just phenomenal, um, it's, I love it, I really do love pigments. And um, that's the other one there, this is platonic. This is a sort of like a cooly pinky sort of base champagne colour. This looks amazing as the inner corner highlight, which is what I've been using it for. But also, if you do like a shimmery brow highlight and you are much paler than me, it would look nice underneath your eyebrow. But this is the colour, it is amazing. These two colours together work so well. And funnily enough, for whatever reason, with these pigments, I find that I don't get that much fallout at all with them. So that's an extra bonus thing for me. Um, OCC is also 100% vegan and cruelty free. I'm loving OCC. It's one of my favourite makeup brands at the moment. I'm really, really impressed with them, so I can't wait to see what else they're bringing out. I'm actually wearing the um, OCC Lip Tar today in Black Dahlia. It's the first time I've actually worn this one because it is coming into autumn and the... Um, darker lips and sort of stuff are coming out and I'm really really loving this colour so I love OCC if you haven't checked out any of their products highly recommend them they're fantastic so I'll put a link to their website below or where else you can get them from eyeliner pencil um this is the pencil I've been using it is the Pearl Glide Intense Eyeliner in Petrol Blue this again came out in the Arch Girl collection but I am going to put this in my favourites because it's actually part of the permanent MAC range so you can get this all the time this is like a really gorgeous sort of shimmery glittery blue eyeliner it it's probably actually not designed to go in your waterline and I think once I've looked it up, I've done some research and you're not supposed to put it in your waterline, it's not recommended um, because there is a fairly chunky bits of glitter in there and when I did put it in my waterline, it sort of, you know, just scratched your eye a little bit. Brown eyes, this looks amazing. It just makes your eyes pop if you put it, if you, if you line your light eyes with this um, blue colour, your eyes just stand out. Brown eyes look phenomenal and the staying power of this pencil on your waterline is amazing like I have got at least eight hours wear on my waterline from this pencil it doesn't move and that is unheard of with any eyeliner pencil of mine except maybe the eye of Horus one but it is amazing and I've got all the colors that came out in this Arch Girl collection because it was I just tried this one once and it was just impressed me so much that I just went and got all of them and I will be looking at the permanent range to see what other colors they come in because yeah amazing 
the best eyeliner pencils I've ever come across. So well done Mac for them. Go check it out. Archie Girl Collection is still in stores and my for a little while anyway. So love this pencil and like I said, brown eyes looks amazing. Mascara of the month, well for the last couple of weeks anyway, has been the benefit their real mascara. Um, when I first got this, I wasn't too sure about it. Um, but it's a really nice mascara. It works really well. It's just not as doesn't work as well as I probably thought it would. I guess I don't know if it's just because I normally have really thick and long lashes. So I put any mascara on. I'm like, yeah, that's alright. But it's not as mind blowing as I expect it to be because I've sort of already got the natural really nice lashes. But either way, it has been a nice mascara. It doesn't seem to clump. It separates nicely. It lengthens. It does thicken. And you know, it's a really good mascara. So um, probably not worth the money that you would pay in Australia. I would only buy it from Benefit online so you can pay for US prices. But either way, it's a really good mascara. So if you haven't got use that one, go and check it out. Eyeliner this month, Addicted to Gel Eyeliners, again, Makeup Geek Immortal Gel Eyeliner is, seriously, it is one of the best eyeliners. I've got a eyeliner comparison video with this one, the Maybelline one, and the MAC Black Track Fluid line, and um, this is it. It's just, like you said, just a gel liner, but it, is, it doesn't move. It really is waterproof, and once it dries, it stays put. It's so easy to go on. It's creamy. It fin finishes, dries with like a really sort of nice matte finish. It's just a really, really, it's a dream to use. There's no problems I've ever had with these. And I think for the value for money, it is really, really worth it. And well worth checking out the other gel eyeliner as well. It comes in like 11 different colours. And they're really gorgeous colours. And the next two things that I've got here are lip products. Again, these from the Archie Girls, Archie's Girl Collection from MAC. Um, again, I know they are limited edition, but they are still available, which is why I'm kind of including this one into my favourites. That is the lipstick there. It's like a really lolly pink colour. Um, sorry, the, there's a huge cloud has just come over and taken away my sun. So the lighting has gone a bit off. Um, but we're just finishing up now anyway. And the... Sorry, the lipstick was in Daddy's Little Girl. And the lip gloss is in More Madness. Which is a bit more of like a movie sort of pink shade. So I'm just going to put that one over the lipstick to show you and it's just a gorgeous gorgeous combination and I have been loving it I've worn this one a lot I even wear this um, lip gloss by itself it just gives like a really sort of nice pinkish purple tinge to my lips and it's really really nice lip gloss I've got here for my lips is this Bliss Tex Intensive Repair Lip Balm it is just a tub like that I'm really loving this I took this overseas with me because like I was flying and I was doing so much air travel and it's just so dehydrating I need, felt like I really needed to put some kind of um, like lip conditioner on on the flight and during the flight and you know because of the long hours on the plane um, so I found I was using this one a lot and I have been loving it it does such a great job for moisturising my lips. It's, I put it in the put it on before I go to bed and I wake up and I feel like my lips are like really nice and refreshed. And it's just a really really nice product. So I'm almost actually finishing this one. So I'm definitely going to have to get this one again. And I might end up actually finishing sooner because if you can see there, the dogs have gone and chewed been through my handbag and chewed the lid and broke it. So there is air getting to it. So I can't imagine it's going to last much longer. But I've been loving the um, intensive repair from Blistex. Last couple of things here. I've got some makeup brushes. These three are the brushes I have been using non-stop this month and I honestly could not live without these. Now this one here is my number one Ray Morris Deluxe Kabuki brush. This is one of my favourite brushes of all time. It has got the tapered edge so it's perfect for applying blends out so it cuts down like, you know, blending out time. I find it does a really nice job. This is perfect for contouring because it seems to be the perfect size to get into the contours of my cheeks. I love it. Perfect for like your temple area. Because it is pointy, you even get down the side of your nose with it. It is such a fantastically brilliant brush. I love it so much. This one is also a Ray Morris brush. It's the 12 chisel, number 12 chisel smudger and that's what it looks like. It is amazingly soft so it's perfect for getting like underneath the eye area I find that like my MAC 219 I find that their bristles are just that much they're just slightly coarse and so when I actually go under my eyes a lot I just find it feels a bit scratchy and it's just not really a place that I want to have brushes that seem scratchy. Chiseled smudger brush is amazing. It's fantastically soft so you can get underneath your eyes right to your lash line. It doesn't irritate you at all. And it's also perfect for getting on top and just sort of smudging out any liner that you may have. It is just amazing. It is a dream and her brushes are 
really I'm, I'm I love her brushes I cannot speak highly enough about her brushes um, just recently they got an email saying that she's released I haven't got the entire 27 collection of her brushes so I have got the 10 piece and a few like individual ones but I just saw on her website a couple of weeks ago um, that they have released like a eye set of her brushes I think there's 12 brushes in the eye set just that I'm ready for that to get delivered I'm assuming it's going to be probably um, tomorrow or the next day I have a few packages coming this week um, but yeah, anyway, sorry getting sidetracked. Um, so yeah, once I get that I'll show you what what is in the eye kit, but her brushes, are just, I love them. Amazing. And the last brush here I've got is my Real Techniques blush brush. It yes. is, it's tapered like to an oval point instead of like a tip like the Make Ray Morris brush, but it is just a really nice blush to get um, blush on your apples with your cheeks. You can use it as a powder brush as well just to dust off any loose powder that you may be using. You can also use it in and powder products because it is synthetic which is why I do like the Real Techniques brushes. I find them to be incredibly soft. They're one of the best synthetic brushes that I have used. I'm not really... I'm trying out a few other synthetic brushes at the moment and I'm just... I'm still not sold on those ones particularly. But these ones are really fantastic quality and I'll put a link to my review of the Real Techniques brushes below. There are a few other ones that have just been released that I'm trying to get my hands on as well. And the last product I've got here and this is finishing up for my five favourites for the month is my Marc Jacobs Dot Perfume. Um, I picked this one up from Duty Free on the way back from America and it is the nicest scent I have ever got. I can't even... I can't describe. I know, it sounds, smells... Smells florally with maybe a hint of fruit or I don't I don't even know how to describe this one I might actually look up to see what it is described as but it is the most amazing smell It is my favorite perfume by far out of all my other ones that I've got and I'm so glad the lady in the um, Duty free shop convinced me to get this. Well worth it. Go and try it see if you can get a sample of this somewhere because it is just Beautiful it really so is. that is it for my monthly favorites. I hope you enjoyed that I apologize for the lighting at the end But there's a big ass storm coming over and it's just completely stolen my sons. This is the best I can do I hope you enjoyed those favorites if you have any comments or questions or what to do a review or see more swatches or anything Leave it in the comment bar below and I'll um, certainly get back to you if you do monthly favorites I'd also like to hear what your monthly favorites are either leave that as a comment or even leave it as a video response Because I love watching favorite videos I'm also going to put a link below to my Facebook account and Twitter and my blog and on my blog I will actually list all these products where you can get them from and I'll probably be doing reviews on quite a few of these products as well so certainly keep an eye out for that but for now that's it for my monthly favourite video I hope you guys have had a fantastic week and I'll talk to you soon bye